Hey everyone, Renium T here, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean till the end of time. In the last episode, we had a nice little game crash, but we made it into Douglas Forest and met Roger. And this part, well, let's see if we can, you know, find Amina and I guess help Roger out too. Since he's all like, I want help and whatever. So, just a bit of map here to fill in if you're going for that. Nothing really to pick up, I do not believe. So let's head out. Oh boy. Roger just chilling out front. Oh. Hi. Arg. Ow. Look out. What? You. It's creepy face. And freaky music. What? This would be the boss. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, has to be. He looks kind of evil. So it's you, that little brat from before. What are you doing here? Didn't we put you in a cage or something? How do you think that? How do you think you're gonna get away with putting Roger, man upon men, in a stinking cage? Pretty women are the only ones who catch this man. Let me tell ya. What the heck are you talking about? Get back to your cage already. What kind of fool do you think I am? First of all, how do I win? How, how'd I win the real man contest if I went back in that cage? Shut up and do as I say. What's this real man contest anyway? Time to see who's the real man. Duh. What? Never mind that. Just hurry up and give me your treasure. Wait a minute. Who said anything about that? Huh? Didn't I mention it? No, not a single word. Um, er. Anyway, cough it up. Shut your trap and give me the goods. Stop wasting time. Oh, just, just give me it! Who do you think you're kidding? Why would I give you my treasure? You don't understand anything, do you? What kind of fool are you? Oh, wait, I know, you're a dum-dum, that's what kind. Give me the treasure! Who are you calling a dum-dum? I had enough of you, I'll smash you to smithereens! Ha, like you could ever be me? Come on, you guys, it's time to fight! Ay, ay, ay. Can I ask you one thing? Do you see a girl with long hair picking flowers around here? I don't know. Why would I tell you guys if I did anyway? You, you come around here cracking jokes about me. Man, you think it's my fault I look evil? Oops, you hurt us. It certainly looks that way. I think you hurt his feelings too. Maybe you better stop talking now. Yeah, you know it's true. It looks like he's kind of sensitive about the whole subject. I won't say another word, but man, he really does look evil, don't you think? Why you? So it's a uh, boss time or something. I'm not uh, just gonna chill back here and then start kicking him. And uh, yeah, that's why it says boss time. He has battle trophies associated with him. Anyways, defeat within a minute and defeat without taking damage. Double battle trophy. That's the two he has. And yeah. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Yeah, that's it. That's a win for me. Hehe, <laughs> take that, Lucian. Congrats. Woohoo! Thanks thanks to you, my lady. Actually, no, I kicked him. Hey, hang on a second there. What are we then? Window dressing? Oh, yeah. Thanks, I guess. You guess? Well, I guess I could thank you, too. I guess. Thanks. Kinda. In a way. Well, it's not like I don't want to, um, thank you or something like that. Oh, nice work. Okay, okay, thank you very much. All right, that'll do. Anyway, forget about the is two for a moment. Let's search for Amina immediately. You're right. Yeah, we should probably go find her. Hey, wait a minute. 
Oh, right, he's coming with us. You know, whatever. Anyways, we get a gold figure for all that. But more importantly, we got battle trophies, so that's a thing. Anyways, let's continue onwards now that we have Roger. And there's more falling rocks here. Let's uh, just go about this way. So, these are the guys who are actually pushing down the rocks. Here I go. Bring it on. Um, have I showed these guys? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Anyways, yeah. You kill all the guys who are around these rocks here. And then... Um, I believe there will be no more rocks thrown at you? I might be wrong about that, but that's what I seem to recall. So... Alright, took care of that group of enemies. Yeah, this is what I recall, is that if you kill all these guys, they'll throw rocks, but I might be wrong about that. Anyways, on that note, let's jump in here and do the same thing. Alright, I might be thinking of something else here, but anyway. Um, alright. Let's actually... What's in those chests? Alright, let's actually head back this way real quick. No, right. So, we do have to watch it going through here because... Is there gonna be more? There it is. They come in threes, I guess. Or big batches like that. Anyway, come in here. Aqua berries. 12,000 bowl. Alchemy materials. And crafting materials. So, uh, that's cool. Now to get back out. Whoop. I'm gonna avoid that guy. I don't like trying to kick those things. Um, anyways, we got more rocks to go, but as you can notice here, we actually don't have a path until they roll down these boulders for us. So once all the boulders have gone down, we actually have a path through here. So that's a thing. Anyway, we're getting through here, surely enough. If I might remind me why I do not like those little guys, uh, I'm not going to head in there right now. I am, however, going to make it to the safe point and heal up, because, well, it's a good time to save it, right? Considering how long it's been, I'm actually going to just save it here and just go from there. Um, go down here. And let's uh, make a save here. And let's head into this section. So we've got a uh, larger area here, without an actual map percentage, but, but, if we head in here, just double checking, we find a spring! Oh man, a spring. Where's this fog coming from? The way, there's definitely something suspicious about this place. Okay, what do we do next? Oh gosh, that close up blur. Something's coming. This looks like trouble! So you obviously get the little extra lines here if you have Roger with you. So, um, this is Mudman! He may look a very similar to a boss we've already fought, but. The difference this time is there's no rocks 
and we have psychic. Like so! And he just melts to sidekick and hammer of might. <laughs> and we also triple experience the boss. Nice! And that's how you do it. And she learned Berserk. Double nice. So, two battle trophies. This is even more battle trophy episode. It's boss battle trophies. <laughs> well, boss. In air quotes with uh how that chief was. It's not really a boss. It's just a beefed up guy. Yay, the fog has vanished. Better hurry up and find Amina. You better. No kidding. So, anyway. Finding Amina is pretty easy, but before we do that, we have another new enemy! These are... Oh, hey, Chain of 30. Speaking of battle trophies. These are carnivorous plants. Let's get my stuff back. Yeah. They just, they just get thigh to kicks. The chain of 30! So that's cool. But... Let's... I'm actually gonna head over down here real quick. And grab heavy armor. I think I just bought some of that, so gosh darn it. Anyway, fill in some more map. So did it just add that percentage meter back on? I think it did. So there's nothing else we can actually pick up in here right now, so I'm not even gonna try. I am just gonna go back to the hunt for Amina. So play the enemies. And head back here. Flowers! Oh boy, I found flowers! Should be step in the right direction, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely is a step in the right direction. Amina! Amina! This who you're talking about? Yeah. Well, she okay? She's still breathing, but I don't think her chances are good. Let's get her back to town, quick. All right. Uh, oh. See you guys later then. Glad we found the girl. Thanks. We really appreciate your help. You did absolutely nothing. I guess you got me a boss with battle trophies. So he did something. He actually did do something then. So I guess I can't complain too much. Let's hurry. Yeah. Alright, let's hurry back! But don't worry, they actually do hurry back and they go back automatically! At least we have an actual healer here? She's home safe, thanks to all of you. Uh, there was nothing. No, no, the doctor said that had you found her much later, it might have been too late. Well, maybe I'm if Roger so hadn't talked her ears off. Girl. She lost both of her parents and now this disease. Ma'am? Oh, it's all the war's fault. If it wasn't for this war, Amina's parents wouldn't have died, and she could have lived in peace. That's why the killing has to end. Yep. Indeed. But there's not much we can do. All we can do is make wishing charms and pray that Apris ends the war. And the power. I'd smash those airy glyph scum into little pieces! Powerless. Power. Mm. Oh, hey, you woke her up. 
Good job, lady. Amina. Get up, Amina. You have to rest. Why are you here, Faith? I thought you were going to leave for Aquios today. Well, yeah, well, Faith likes to butt his head into everything. These people brought you back here after you collapsed. You collapsed on top of the mountain, Amina. I couldn't carry you all the way home. So I came back to get help. But that's when I saw this boy. I see. Fate, everyone thank you very much. I'm so sorry for the trouble I've caused you all. Nah, don't worry about it. He's right. You just concentrate on resting up and getting better. Okay. Yeah, you do that. And Amina? Yes. I asked that doctor to take care of you for me. If you start feeling worse, go see her right away. But how will I pay her? That's not a problem. We've already come to an agreement about the fee. It's all taken care of. I... I can't let you do that. You need to learn to take favors when they're offered. Don't worry. You don't owe me anything. That doctor is an old friend of mine. I'm happy to use my connections to help. She's well, why right. didn't you offer in the she first place? Okay, so All right, okay. just a cold. But how about this? Just think of it as payment for the maiden of Arisa. Does that sound fair? That was a gift. Come on, just say yes. You want to see your friend again, don't you? You'll need to get better as fast as possible if you want to do that, right? I don't know how to thank you. Don't mention it. Fate? Should let her rest. Yeah. Amina, sorry, but we have to go. You do? I'd like to stay and help you get better, but there's something important I have to do. It's something I've thought about a lot. At first, I was just going to run away from it all. But then I realized, sometimes, you're the only one that can make a difference. And if it's something that might help mm -hmm. people, you've got to give it a try. Yes. Fate. You don't mean... That's right. I'll cooperate with you. Of my own free will, of course. So let's go. Before I change my mind again. Uh, okay. You're as easy to read as always. Ah. I'll take that as a compliment. No kidding. All right, we have to go now. I'm sorry, ma'am. Please take good care of Amina. I will. You folks take care of your own work, whatever that may be. Leave Amina to me. Yep. Thank you. Fate? Huh? I'll see you again, right? Yes, you will. I'm looking forward to it. I am too. Take care. All right. All right. Well, that takes care of that. We have found Amina. And now we need to actually have her Aquios, right? Right, feet. You sure about this? Yeah. So, whatever happened to that precious UP3 you used to worry about all the time? Uh, yes, well, I've made up my mind. I'll do whatever it takes to end this war. That's all. There are things I can do that no one else can do. If there's a chance I can help. Cool, kid. Very cool. Either way... We've interfered so much already, it's not going to make any difference, is it? And there's no guarantee we'll ever get off this planet. 
Making a virtue of necessity, huh? Is that wrong? I have to do something if I'm ever going to get out of here and find my dad. You got the right it's idea. True. And I think you could use a little gung ho, you know? You think? Well, that's the way I prefer to do things anyway. All right, let's go. She's waiting. All right. Let's go to Aquius, right? Took you long enough. What were you talking about? Oh, nothing. I was just asking him if he's gonna miss Amina. Silly question. Of course he will. Lay off the teasing, all right? It's not like we're going out. Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah. About the doctor? Thanks. Don't thank me. I was just doing what I wanted to do. But... Actually, that doctor is one of my subordinates. You mean like... Uh -huh. Well, they're not all doing the same thing. But they are all agents of Aquaria. And they help me out when I need it. So you're just abusing connections. Oh, nice. Just the same. Please accept my gratitude. I said don't worry about it. Hi. What is it? Can I really believe what you said back there? About what? That you'll do what you can. I take that to mean you cooperate with us? Yes, I will. Huh. Well, I welcome your change of heart. I'll have to thank Amina and her friend. But are you really sure about this? Yes! Gosh! Going along with what he Why are you questioning it? Just go with it. Right. I've made up my mind. In that case, thanks in advance. You're welcome. Now, let's get to Aquios. Yep, let's get to Aquios. But, you know what? I don't want to go to Aquios just yet. We've got some more stuff to explore. And not because they just kicked us out of the forest. No, that's not why. What I really want to explore is... Let's uh, toss a save here. You know what? Let's let's head back out the west exit. Did they at least did they heal me? I think they did, right? No. What? Come on. No. Oh, every day in our name. What are you staying with us? Three hundred full. What? Oh come on. It's not fair. Uh, yep, basically Nell's just like, by the way, you can now stay here, or whatever. But yeah, like I said, let's head back out the west exit, because if you remember, I didn't explore this area fully. I did pick up, for the most part, what I had before, in terms of a map. Now, apparently I missed out a little bit. My bad. But, welcome to the other part of Sand Might Step. Um, let's grab the blueberries there. And, we do have some more enemies to fight. I think that. Oops. And more map to fill in. Let's go figure the one I fought was the one I had already fought here. Um, I actually want to do something on her real quick. I want to turn on Berserk. It does lower my defense, but it'll make her hit harder. Same thing goes with him. He doesn't have it yet. Um, I do, however, want to do that. Um, wait on him and give him more attack. Alright. Now we have new enemies. 
fact, we got all the new enemies here. We have Lady Beast and Axe Beast. You actually have to watch out for these guys. They do have a pretty devastating attack. But as long as you can uh, sheen them, you should be fine. Yeah, if you start hearing that wall of law, oh, well, there it goes. Lift empty damage. That is a. Uh, why you need to watch out for them? Because they in here kill you. And as I've said, Cliff doesn't exactly have the best in he, and because he's confused there, he is just running around like a big derp, pretty much. He's cute, take a while, because uh, you're not actually meant to be fighting these yet, but so that's cool. So I'm gonna- <coughs> excuse me! I am gonna avoid the rest of them, I just wanted to show off a one fight against them now. Just like I said, just to show them. Hmm, excuse me! Goodness! So let's go around here. Oh, there's a little bit of map back there, isn't there? So, if you want to go for this map, then be careful. I might go for it off Green because I do want to end the episode fairly soon. But anyways, welcome to Surferio. This is another little town that we can go to. Um, got a shop in here. Um, and human towns have nothing but humans everywhere. It's weird. It is weird. Excuse me. Excuse me. No person I see. Got plenty of items to from under the waves, so I am now gonna pick up a couple more uh, fresh sage. And thanks to that double full I have, I have been getting a bunch of money, so that's handy. Um, anyways, while we're here, hey, I see a familiar face. What? Your henchman. You're joking. Come on, Roger, tell the truth. Yeah. Tell the truth, say how we saved you. Sorry, I'm just kidding. I had them help out in the real man contest a while back. Oh, okay then. Mm -hmm. I thought there was something funny going on. These guys seem pretty strong and all. The name's Fate Line. At least you recognize it. Cliff Fitter. Mel Zelda. Howdy! Nice to meet you guys. I'm Drive. I'm one of Roger's crew. Hi. So you guys were the ones helping Roger. You also have creepy eyes. I see all and no one. Yeah, this guy can read the stars just a little. He says weird things sometimes, but don't let that bother you. Mm-hmm. Wow, the ability to read the stars. What are you guys doing? Hey, I just found this awesome item. Hey, you didn't find that. The Laurel of the Green Tribe found it. You fool! You didn't have to tell him that! Roger sure is a big liar, isn't he? A book? That's right! A mysterious book dug from the ruins at the bottom of a lake. It just reeks of adventure! But I don't understand what it says. You don't understand what it says? I don't know these characters. Now, of course, we're gonna use our translators, right? Yeah, I 
can't read this stuff. What does it say? Hidden spring in a sea of rolling white rock. What will the oh, we are easy. We're trying to later. We stand guard. Caves as dark as day. The five attributes come into conflict. What light can reveal them? The rotted corridor, guarded by archers of the gods. The sun king sleeps in his coffin. What shall the new court say? Which of the three shall claim the kingly throne? Is the sacrifice of the winged messenger of the gods gazed at hope or despair? At the end of the caverns where the coppers mm -hmm. sleep, the northernmost wise man gazes upon the lake. Is it an ancient power sealed below the roots? Burning flames of the underworld, the red twins, looked down upon by the giant from the tribe of long years. Who can release that inner power? That's all. I see. I don't get it. What's it talking about? All I know is, it sounds like a bunch of riddles telling you where to find stuff. Barely so. Guess all we can do is go on an adventure and find out. No. Yep. Hitting, it's dangerous. Well, of course it is. Adventure's kind of What's a little adventure without danger? You're asking us. I said help me, and in return, I'll help you guys out on your adventures too. Yeah. Oh, but you're so under yeah. level. All you gotta do is help out with our treasure hunt while you're on your own adventure. So what'll it be? I leave it up to you. Wow, Nell, your arm is looking. What the heck, Nell? Your arm is really looking really skinny there. There's something wrong? Or is it always that way? Like she, it looked like it was literally just a bone and like she was malnourished or something. Anyways, you can pick up Roger again here. And you start a nice little side quest. And by little I mean it's big and hard and dangerous. They are actually serious about the fact that this is dangerous. <laughs> so, you have been warned. But, for that danger, you do get well rewarded. So, going to be attempting to do this. What? <laughs> well now, that was interesting. A book of riddles describing places. Guess I'll go tell my excitable young boy about that right away. The heck? Uh, what? Okay then, Asia Book 1 is in 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that was the main reason to actually come here, but. Hello. Phones are hard. Vegetables stick together. Human cuisine is really, really, really hard. Hee <laughs> hee. But let's uh, look around a little bit more before I call it a video. So if you head down here, there is an area you can head for, but I am not going to head there just yet. Um, try to find something here. Can't seem to find it. Let me see here. Aha! I was looking the wrong place. What do we have here? What's this? Looks like a machine. Well, isn't it a battle mech? Pride and joy of you engineers and technological superpower of Greeton? Huh? Greeton? What? You didn't know? It's one of those ancient battle mechs that they used to use to drive the ancient kingdom off for to ruin. It's like a robot, but it uses simple artificial force to move. Hmm. Even if this robot needs an external operator and can't move independently, technology 
required for bipedal motion alone is for the advance. That's true, the Nacrine Kingdom possesses technology to correspond to the 20th and 21st century Earth. Wow. There are cards right when we make contact with these people in green. Maybe we can power up the, the communicator again. I'll have to think about it. How's he don't know what this is? Yeah, you hail from green. Are you immigrants or something? Well, um, yeah, that's right. Cliff immigrates a green too, actually. Immigrated green, actually. So we're not all that familiar with its history yet. See, I did hear of uh, all sorts of friction with the king native rock folk and other races there in that kingdom. And is that is why your father was abducted. Yeah, that's it. That's basically what happened. We're just making this up as we go. Anyways, if you head in here, you'll notice that there's an in spot, but uh, the has no end. Why don't you just stay here? If there's an old stars you're after, well, we've got plenty of both to go around. Huh. See, um, we're all a little tired. Do you think we can sip the old stories? Ah, uh, no, I'm afraid not. Definitely not possible. When my friend's husband starts talking, he takes him at least six hours to before he shuts up again. I see. So if you say that, you will know all the arms and if I spend night very ready. Yeah, you can't say skip the stories. Because she'll just be like, nope, you can't stay here. Don't be shy. So you Oh boy. Luckily, they don't actually force those stories on you, which is good. So you can just sleep and not worry about that. So the same time, the stories all over. I'm so tired. But you do get a nice free heal here, which is very, very handy. So, anyways, I am going to call the video there. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you would like to help support the channel and help support what I do here, uh, be sure to go check out my Patreon. Patreon is a great way to help, help support the channel. And even $1 will go a long way. And if you like to find me on social media, I am on Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And there's my keyboard tray again. So yeah, thank you again for watching. And until next time, this is Rini and T, signing out.